Are you struggling with back pain that just won't go away? Or comes at times that are very inconveniencing for you and limits what you're able to do on a day-to-day -day basis? You're not alone. Low back pain is a major issue for a lot of people. It's a common reason I get questions from family members and friends and even strangers who realize that I'm a physician. It can really cut into your everyday life and make things very stressful for you. I want us to talk about back pain to educate you on some of the common reasons you might be experiencing back pain. I think this education is very key. It can be empowering to have an idea of what's going on and to guide your recovery. If you are currently seeing a doctor for your back pain, then you will have a head start after watching this video. This is Met Science Simplified, I'm Dr. Zicky. I am a board certified radiologist. Back pain facts. Back pain is super common. It's actually one of the top reasons people go to see their doctor or miss work. It's a very common cause of disability, but the good news is there are plenty of ways to prevent and ease back pain, especially if you are under the age of 60. What are some signs and symptoms of back pain? People usually describe a dull ache or sharp pain in their back and can sometimes feel numbness and tingling that goes down your legs. The fancy term is known as radicular pain or radiculopathy. This can get worse when you move around, try to bend or lift things. Uh, sometimes it's constant and bothersome where you're not even doing anything, just sitting or standing there. Causes of back pain. It is important to understand the backbone of the matter, you know, quite literally, the spine. The spine is a complex structure of bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments that all act together to support your body and also protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord is like the informational highway of your body that sends messages back and forth between your body and brain and helps you uh, feel sensations and move around. Now let's take a look at the top five reasons I see back pain in clinic or get questions from family and friends and even strangers who talk to me about their back pain. Keep in mind that these causes can happen alone or in combination with a few others. Muscle or ligament strain. Imagine pulling a rubber band too far. That's what happens to your muscles, tendons, and ligaments when they strain. This can happen when you lift something that is too heavy, twist suddenly, and your body does not agree with it. It can result in small tears in your muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and a lot of pain. Bulging or ruptured disc, also known as herniated disc. Your spinal discs are like jelly donuts between the spine bones, which are known as vertebrae. They provide cushioning for these bones. When you have a disc herniation or a rupture, it's similar to the jelly in the donuts pushing outward. In the spine, however, it can press on the spinal cord or the nerves that extend uh, out from the spinal cord, leading to a, a lot of pain. When the nerves leaving from the spinal cord are entrapped or compressed, that's when you start feeling the tingling and numbness that goes down your leg, also known as radicular pain. Arthritis of the spine. There are various forms of arthritis, but we are particularly referring to osteoarthritis. It's like the normal wear and tear of your favorite pair of sneakers, but it's happening to the joints in your spine. Over time, this can lead to spinal canal stenosis, which is essentially narrowing of the space where your spinal cord is located and can potentially result in a lot of pain. Skeletal irregularities. The most common skeletal irregularity in the spine is scoliosis. It's a condition where the spine curves to the side. It can curve to the right or to the left or both. Most cases of scoliosis are mild, but severe curves can lead to discomfort and a lot of back pain. Last but not the least is osteoporosis. This condition turns your bones porous weak and more likely to break. Two common sites for fracture and osteoporosis are the spine and the wrist. There are multiple risk factors for osteoporosis, which include costume levels, vitamin D levels, physical activity, lifestyle, and genetics. I'll make another video talking specifically about osteoporosis, so stay tuned. However, the spine fractures and osteoporosis can result in a lot of pain. Preventing low back pain. Now that we know some of the most common causes of back pain that I encounter as a radiologist, let's talk about prevention. There is no one cure fits all for back pain. It's usually based on how long your pain has been going on, the location of your back pain, if it feels sharp or dull, does it go down your leg? 
your overall health status, among other factors. But there are some practical preventative measures that can be very helpful. Staying active with gentle exercises like walking, swimming, and specifically working on those core back muscles can be very helpful in strengthening those muscles for better support. Try to maintain a healthy weight to decrease the stress on your back. I understand that this is uh, easier said than done for a lot of people. Try to stop smoking if you do. Another one that is also easier said than done for people who smoke. Using proper body mechanics. Your standing and sitting postures are really important and the way you lift things can really make a lot of difference preventing back pain. These preventative measures we have talked about can really decrease your risk of back pain or prevent your back pain from getting worse. When to call a doctor. Usually back pain sorts itself out if you take things easy at home for a little bit. But if your back pain is severe and doesn't improve with rest, or if you experience symptoms like tingling and numbness that goes down your legs, it's time to seek professional help. Warning. In rare cases, back pain can be a sign of something that is more serious, especially if you're having trouble going to the bathroom, having fever, or you've experienced a recent bad fall or injury. You should see a doctor immediately in these cases. Buyer beware. I wanted to make a quick word on all those products out there promising to fix your back pain. Take them with a grain of salt and chat with your doctor before you try anything. As for mattresses and low back pain, this is a complex topic and it's very subjective. You know, what works for one person may not work for the next person. So just go with what feels right for you. Dealing with back pain doesn't have to be a part of your daily routine. You know, with these knowledge and tips, you can take control. And if things don't improve, don't hesitate to reach out for professional help. There are other treatment options that can be explored with your doctor, including medications, formal physical therapy, and of course, surgery as a last resort if you are a good candidate and other methods have been ineffective. Stay curious, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to join the MedScience Simplified community for more health tips. See you in the next video.